Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. In this video, we'll understand how to convert a JSON REST response to a flat file CSP using a mapping. Let us have a use case where we are trying to get audit logs from Informatica REST API. The response we get is in JSON format and for documentation, you would require it in CSV format. There are a few online converter tools that are presented on the screen. Uh, but if you wish to do it using a mapping, this video is for that. So let us have a demo. So let us first see how we get the response in Postman. So this is my audit call. So this is how I get a response. So this is in a J JSON format. So we'll be converting that to a flag file using our mappings. So uh, for that, we need to create a Swagger file, which is uh, uh, rm uh, underscore swagger so i've chosen the runtime environment and the url and the, it's the verb is a post call the api base path is api and v2 user login so username and password is not required here as you would be providing at the raw body and uh you have to provide an operation id and save it and we need to create a audit Swagger file as well. So the base URL and API base path and the API path and the verb is get call. We need to provide the operation ID and the head. So for us to get the audit log, we would be providing the IC session ID here. So similarly, we need to provide that as a header in the uh, header section in JSON format. So let us create a connection for it. So we need to download both the uh, Swagger files and place it in a location where the agent has access to inside their secure agent machine. So for that, we need to create a REST V2 connection. So under connections, if you create your connection name and the runtime environment, authentication is standard, authentication type is none. User ID and password is not required. This is just for testing purposes. Swagger file path. We need to provide the Swagger file name along with the extension and the path where it is stored in the agent machine. Similarly, for the audit log, we need to provide the Swagger name along with the extension and the location where it is stored. So let us come to data integration. So first, we need to create a business service. So the flow it goes is that. So in the source, we have a login call and uh, and the target, and we'll have a business service which uh, uses the IC session ID from the login call, and that will write it to a flat file target. So under components, you see business service, and this is the one which I've created. You can choose a name and choose the audit log connection, and the operation is the same RM audit log audit, which I created in the connection. Uh, which we created in the Swagger file. And in the mapping, we have to choose the login as a source and under field mapping. Uh, and one more thing, in the source, we have to provide the request message. The template will be here. You can provide the details as per your requirement. And in the field mapping, we just need the IC session ID so that I will be choosing to send to the next transformation. So in the web service, web service is a transformation that we see in the very end of the transformations. So we'll choose the business service that we created and the operation as audit. And in the request mapping, we just need the IC session ID, we'll map the IC session ID. In the request mapping, we just need the 200 response array. So I've just mapped all the descendants. In the target, I've created a simple flat file, create new at runtime. See that it's audit log.csv. I have created a mapping task for the same. You can create a mapping task for the same mapping. The reason for that is, uh, if we run the mapping task in verbose mode and if we have enabled log level debug at the secure agent level, 
we'll see the request and response that happens in the backend. So to get the job. So we see that it successfully written 200 rows. The default audit log will always write 200 rows, the first 200 rows, the audit log.csv. We see that the type and the username, entry time, object ID, object name, category, update. So we see all the audit log in the CSV file. So this is in the uh, CSV format while the postman mm -hmm. wasn't a JSON format and let us go back to the presentation. To summarize from the video, we could understand how to write a JSON response of audit log. Audit log is just an example, but this can be applied for anything that's required and uh, and how to write it to a CSV format to get it in CSV file. I would love to hear back from you at support videos at the rate informatica.com or infosupport in Twitter. Thank you.